I'm with Lindolfo Delgado as he prepares for his fight. That is October 20th. How do I, Cozumel? How do I say it? Cozumel. Cozumel. So right now he was on his run and this is what he comes across. That's scary. Is this your first time? Uh, that you see a rattlesnake on no, your run? No. Well, uh, when, while I'm running, yes, it's my first time. But when I in my home, my hometown, uh, I see another rattlesnakes. Although they're everywhere, right? Because you guys live in. Okay. Do you do you live in the ranch? Like live no. in. No, I, I live in the city, but li I like it to go to the ranch. Uh, it's near from my, my house, like uh, 30 minutes. Oh, okay. In but, my... but I live in the city. Yes. Oh, you live in the city. Okay. Wow. Have, have And you, before you said that you, you hunt too, right? Yeah. Sometimes. No, no, not too often, but sometimes. And you also ride horses? Yeah. Are you good? You can go fast? Yeah, very fast. Do you, in Mexico, do you guys have rodeos also? Yes. So you guys compete and like the have you been to a rodeo here in America? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it similar? Similar, but I, I don't. We don't compete. Just we just do it for fun. So that's that's you. So you are uh, you um, were raised riding horses with yeah. your family. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. So you ride horses and you. Play on the the, the motors. Is it the mo what? What do you call it? The quad? ATV. ATV. Mm -hmm. ATV. So, my question to you next is: Have you ever been on the racetrack? No. Like, I know you're into cars. I know you're into fast cars. Is that something that you're curious about, or no? Maybe later, when I have a most more powerful car. But are you have you, are you curious to, to go? Like you've never been on it before? No. Not no? Yet. Next time we're going, I went on oh, Sunday. Okay. And I if you want, it's it's crazy. <laughs> it is I've never been myself ever before. And um it's it's cool, it's fun. Yeah, Mikey told me about that and I really like it but I later I'm going to it. Yeah, I, I um, it's it's just it's just cool to like look at. It's mm -hmm. like a, I, for me personally, before I used to look at guys in cars like they're crazy. You know, who cares? But now I see like it's um, it's almost like an art. You know, it's also a sport. Like learning how to like work the brakes and everything. You know, for the turning, it's pretty cool. I liked it. I was like, oh wow, this is nice. So. Right now, you're getting ready to fight. We. This is your last week, last week of sparring, yes? Yes. How do you feel? Very, very good. Fine and ready. Fine and ready. And um, I hear that Big G is going. Yeah. How cool is that? That's very cool for me because I'm very confident with triple, with, big, with big, big G and I know he has a too much experience in boxing and I like it, I like that. Yeah, no, I can only imagine for somebody, you know, like yourself, because he wasn't even supposed to be coaching anymore. <laughs> and I now know. for him to be going to your fight, I, I was like, oh, wow, when I found out, I was like, that's amazing, because everyone has so much respect for him, mm -hmm. you know, because obviously he trains Mikey and he taught Robert Garcia. Fernando Vargas. Yeah, it's, it's a big deal. Yeah, I know. So I, I think it's cool. Um, do you know who your opponent is yet? Yeah, I know. You know your opponent? Mm -hmm. For for your opponents, do you look at your opponents or no? Yes, uh, I look. I uh, I look at them. At them, yeah. You do look at them. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, and then how many rounds are you going? Six. Six rounds. Mm -hmm. Was your? This is my last fight at six rounds. And then the next. Eight rounds. It goes on to eight rounds. Okay, cool. I'm excited. I'm gonna go. I'm going to film for Fight Height, so cool. I'll get everything, obviously. And then um, my last question is, I see on your Instagram 
your uh, ice bath. Mm, yeah. Okay, why is the ice bath good? And that helps to recover the muscles and joints and, and you know injuries in your hands and your body. That helps a lot. Uh, the, in fact, I am going to do it right now in, for my legs because I go, I I went to running to a mountain to Mount Baldi. Oh yeah, yeah. And my legs are hurting me, so I'm going to do it uh, right now. The ice bath just in my legs. How how so so that so it's just your lower body. How long do you put your legs in there? Uh, the more time you are in the ice, the best, uh, the best, you know. So, so it's as long as you can handle yeah. it, basically. Mm -hmm. Like 10, 15 minutes. You sit in it for 10 or 15 minutes? Yeah. No. No, yeah, but it's not too cold because, you know, because uh, it's... Because it starts to melt probably, yeah. right? And then your body heat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I, okay. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, you watch the fights, the UFC fights. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, that Khabib is. As a fighter yourself, how did you respect, or can you do you have understanding for how he reacted after his victory? Yeah, because uh, McGregor talked too much about Khabib, uh, family, religion, and country. You know, a lot of things, and Khabib took it personal and. He reacts and I understand Kevin. You do? Yeah. And did you like the fight? Did you think it was a yeah, good fight? Yeah, it was a good fight. It really, it wasn't a good fight because they all the time was in the floor. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> but I I want to see Khabib beat McGregor, so it was a good fight. It was a good fight in that sense. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay, well, thank you. Okay, so I did a boxing um, for dummies with Mikey. We talked about um, the vacancy belts and mandatory fights. With you, I want to ask the importance of the jab. Is it very important to yeah. know, like, for your jab? Yeah, it's very important because you may, you mark the distance and it's the key of winning a fight, you know? You believe the jab? Yeah. So you believe that so 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 you believe the jab is is a part key to winning a fight. Yeah, you, you can broke your left your right hand and you can still win with with this with this only hand with the jab. But if you broke this hand, you, it's too difficult to win the fight just with the right hand, you know. Really? Mm -hmm. So you almost think that the jab is more important than your right hand? Yeah. Oh.